Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday, Sunday means tax Sunday. And every Sunday we bring something new in tax so that you can get a chance to learn. And also if you have any question, concern, you can ask us in the comment section as well as you can connect through the links provided in the description section. Today we are going to discuss about top and dex function. Recently I was working on some of the reports and then I realized that yeah this is a good topic which we can explain in our next video. So here we are. And also in this video I'm going to explain how we can change the top and dynamically. So please stay tuned till the end of this video. As you can see on my screen, top end function returns the top end rows of the specified table. The syntax of top end function is n value that means the first parameter will determine the how many top rows you want to return from this one. It's a singular value. A singular value will be returned where the expressions will evaluate multiple rows. The second expression or the second parameter over here is the table on which table you want to apply it so this is the table from where you would like to evaluate values thirdly the order by expression this may consist of any dex expression by which result of the expression will sort and evaluate each row of the table and lastly it will sort your expression by ascending or descending order so that's the topping function now let's move on the demo over here you can see that I have already created three measures which is the total sales, total cost and total profit. Before beginning of this demo part, I would like to introduce you with my data model which I have explained in my previous videos as well. So on the top you can see that I have uh, dimensional tables where one is date table, another is product. Then I have a customer table, territories table which is connected to the hemisphere one and then I have my sales table. So these are the tables that I'm using. Sales table is my fact table while the others are my dimensional tables over here connected in the star schema. As I explained to you earlier, I have three measures and there's a table where I'm gonna put my values after connecting with that. But initially I have just dropped over here the year column from my date table. As you can see, it's over here. Before proceeding further, let me show you what I have done for these three different measures which are my total sales, total cost and total profit. You can see my total cost is the sum of the total product cost. I'm using is blank because if there are certain null values in, in my sales table, so it's going to return me zero. Otherwise, it's going to give me the uh, aggregated sum. Uh, after applying the aggregated sum function over there, it's going to give me the total value or the total cost. Similarly, I have done for the profit. Profit is basically total sales minus total cost and total sales is the sum of all the sales amount. So I believe these are the quite simple one. I need not to explain much over it. So I'll straightforward jump on the top, top function. So what I'm going to do over here, the very first we are going to create top 10 for the total sales. So how we can create it? The very first you have to create a new measure over here once you will create you can give it a name top 10 sales or not top 10 because i don't think so we have so many values in my data so i'll go for top 5 total sales now we have to write our expression since we are calculating a measure and it would be definitely a single singular value so we have to apply the calculate function otherwise i will show you the top end basically returns a table it doesn't return a single value so in order to convert into a singular or single value we have to apply the calculate function so let me apply this calculate and over here it's gonna be my total sales and then I can apply my top end function over here so top end here you can see that it returns a given number of top rows according to a specified expression so we'll write this now we have to write n value means how many top, uh, top rows do you want to return so in our case we have the five rows that we want to return and then i have to mention the table name table name would be the sales table because we are working on the total sales amount or the total sales and after that it's gonna ask you the order by expression so what would be the order so we want to order it by total 
sales so let's put this one and descending order let me go through this once again for this formula so you can see that i am returning top 5 total sales where i am calculating my total sales and getting top n that means the n value is over here 5 returning from the sales table then order by expression is also the total sales you can change the order by like by profit or by cost the way you want and then it's in the descending order that's it just close it hit the ok and now i'm gonna drag and drop it over here so you can see over here in my table for the year i'm getting the top five values of the total sales now you will say okay there are more than five values are being definitely there are more than five values are being reason being fourth you are getting the distinct one and the fifth one is zero so these values are the blank values which i replaced in my total sales as the zero and it's also considered as one value and all are the same so it's gonna return it as next value so now you can even do this sorting over here if you want to similarly what i can do i can create two more for you so that you can understand so these are my top five profits once more we will uh, calculate total cost as well so top five cost so what we can do we'll gonna create a new measure and then i'm gonna use the sales value and this time i'm going to make a little bit change the expression that i have to use i'm gonna use the total sales I don't want by total profit or total cost, I want by total sales and descending. And then just hit the enter button, it's gonna take automatically and place it over here. So these are the top 5 total cost by sales. Now this is a simple calculation and as I explained you earlier, top and actually returns a table. It does not return you a single value. So how we can see that if you just want to work on a table and you need a table so what you can do you can come over here you can create a new table and just say top 5 sales from the sales table and here we, we can write an expression so we have to write top, top n then we need top 5 so 5 table name sales table and the expression would be by total sales or you can write even using some some x function you want to write it you can write that as well if you want, wish to and descend it and just hit the enter button and you will see you have all those rows which has the top five sales now what we are going to do we are gonna play with this a bit more and now we want to make it dynamic we don't want to calculate always all the values like I have to put the values in my all the text measures like top 5 top 10 and something something I want to do it dynamically first I need to create a table so let me go there and create my new table in the home tab you will enter the data or you can load it from the excel if you want to i'm gonna give it a name top n here value that you need to give so let's say i give top 5 top 10 then say 20 30 50 so these are the different values that we want to give uh, dynamically so load this table so this is our top end table where I have the different values now what I can do I have to create a new measure open this and create here a measure I'm calling it selected value 
here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get the selected value so that i can use these values from the top and table in a slicer to dynamically change and here i'm gonna give this value so whenever i select any value it's gonna select that particular value so let me bring a slicer over here So currently in my these measures that I have created over here, top 5, top 5, top 5, they all are using this 5 as the hard coded one but I don't want to use this hard coded instead of that in the same I'm gonna replace it with the selected value same for this one. So this would get automatically changed so I'm not gonna change in this one but let's see we have to change in this one too. So let's say it's gonna be now top n and again this would be my selected value measure that i just created again so i have changed in two so let me change in this one too and let me make it n2 and make it selected value one last thing there's one more remaining over here which i just need to rename it to n because in this one also i have used my selected value so that's all we need to do now according to this whenever we will change this it's gonna select the value but since i don't have the sufficient data for top 30 top 10 top n numbers of values it's not there but this is the way we can make it dynamically so whenever we will select any values from here this value is gonna go into your expression over here in the selected value which was earlier a hard-coded value and according to that you can make it dynamic i believe it's gonna be very useful for you whenever you are performing calculations though if you are if you will ask me there is an inbuilt uh, function as well which you can use top n and then you can drag any field from there then you can use that as well but there are certain cases where we don't want to use this top n and we have to use in the calculations our inbuilt dex function itself so in that case that would be very helpful please do let us know whether you like it or you have any more concern questions or you need to ask me anything more about this top end function let us know in the comment section and also please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos